You might know him as a painter of fantastic visions, dark nightmares, and the terrors of war, but perhaps you wouldn't know Goya as court artist to the kings of Spain. This is how he saw himself. He painted famously some really, really disturbing pictures. But that is not what this exhibition is about. What this exhibition is about is his portraits, and his portraits, I think, are quite startling. This is the first exhibition ever devoted to Goya's portraits. Around half of all Goya's known portraits are on show, nearly 70 works, paintings, drawings, miniatures. In 1793, an unknown illness left Goya totally deaf. Deeply affected by the loss of his hearing, portraiture remained a way that Goya could communicate. He won a commission from Spain's Prime Minister, Count Florida Blanca, and soon earned patrons from every part of Spanish society. For many people, this will be the portrait of the exhibition, the first time it's ever been seen in Britain the portrait by Goya of the Duchess of Alba. She's not a particularly pretty woman, but then he was no oil painting either. It is said they had an affair, and in this picture, I think, she stands really sassily. It's something to do with the way that her, her feet point, and she's got her right hand pointing down, finger out, directed at the ground, and on the ground it says, inscribed in the sand, solo Goya, only Goya. Well, who knows what it means, but it's a really riveting portrait, I think. Goya seems to take portraiture in a new direction, much more interested in the sitter's personality than their status. And here we are, a face that will be instantly recognisable to many British people, the man who became the Duke of Wellington, the defeater of Napoleon. The great thing about this picture, I think, is the, is the face, the face that comes, all this stuff, the decorations, are sort of hardly rendered at all, they're just suggested, but it's the face and the staring eyes. A man who's seen terrible things, the only thing worse than a battle lost is a battle won. Within the tight bounds of court painting, Goya captured the bright humanity of those he admired, but also managed to show his withering contempt for those he despised. And this is the picture of the Spanish king Ferdinand VII. You'll see all the details of his magnificent robes, his scepter, his sword, the ermine on his shoulders. All of that is really, really acutely rendered. But he has no shoulders. And when you look at the face, you get a very strong sense of what Goya really thought of this man. He thought he was a prat. As well as his formal commissions, you can see intimate portraits of the people he loved most. His wife, his son, and the very last painting he ever made of his much adored grandchild, Mareno Goya. And this is the last of Goya's self-portraits. It's an astonishing picture, I think. It shows Goya on this side of the picture with his doctor holding a cup up towards his lips. And it's testament, I think, to what a remarkable vision Goya had. It's black. It's a really black, dark picture. This is a remarkable exhibition because portraits are not what we normally associate with Goya. But he did do some amazing pictures of people in which he seems to tell us very cleverly what he really thought of them. If you want to see for yourself, it's on until January the 10th.